Loopline here. I wanted to talk about the Alexa Rank Checker add-on. If you don't have it, you can go to Add-ons, Show Available Add-ons, and um, it'll bring up a list here, and you can install it, find it, and just click Install Add-on, that sort of thing. Once it's installed, you go here and you click on Alexa Rank Checker. Now I have um, some URLs that I just did a random scrape on car for, just as an example. Uh, what the Alexa Rank Checker does is it pulls Alexa and it checks for uh, both the popularity rank and the uh, reach rank um, and then it gives you any kind of error codes and proxies and that sort of thing. You can control your connection so that you can uh, you know set it to go fast or slow that depending on what you'd like to get there. You can recheck failed, abort, you can load a URL list um, and then you can export when you're done and you get multiple options including a plain text file, comma separated, tab separated, Excel sheet, that sort of thing. So basically um, I went ahead and pulled in a list of URLs here and I'm just going to hit get Alexa rank here and let it run through here and then just abort it because we don't need to go forever long but you can see the popularity rank this is your general Alexa rank um, that you have on sites for Alexa and then you have your reach rank. Reach rank deals more to do with actual total users. Uh, Alexa says something along the lines that they calculate based on the total number of users that use the Alexa um, toolbar your rank for how many of those users actually get to that site. But you can go on Alexa and read about what the, the ranks do. Um, but this will give you both the popularity rank and the reach rank and then you get to sort them based on, uh, you can click the based on reach rank, popularity, that sort of thing. And then of course if you're ex exporting into Excel uh, or CSV, you're going to be able to open it up into a program and sort those however you like as well. And that is how the Alexa Rank Checker add-on works.